I would say that data pump is kind of the screwdriver in your toolbox. When you do your home improvement project, you bring out that big sledgehammer and you come with your round saw and all your power tools. But at the end of the day, you've always used the screwdriver. Just for one tiny piece of your home improvement project, you've used the screwdriver. And it's kind of the same with data pump. Even for those huge migrations, where we roll out the big artillery and come with zero downtime migration and so forth, for one part of the migration project or the other, we have almost all the time used data pump. Why is that? It's because data pump is so easy to use. Combined with its flexibility and the many capabilities, we often find data pump to be a good candidate. But the flip side to using data pump is that for large databases, it takes too long or it actually takes a while to do the export, import the data again and rebuild indexes and so forth. But despite that, data pump is really a good tool. So let's discuss the basics about data pump. The default way of using data pump is to use it in dump file mode. When you do that, you export the data from the source database and put it into a dump file. You can then transfer the DOM file over the network to your target database and then import from the DOM file into the database. In contrast to that, you can use data pump in network mode. When you do that, you simply invoke uh, import on the target database directly. It'll connect to the source database and load all the data via the network link and put it into the target database. When you use data pump with dump files, you must have access to the file system of the database. And you need additional disk space to hold the dump file as it gets created by the database. But since this is the default way of using data pump, you get access to the full functionality of data pump when you do it in dump file mode. With network mode, you must have SQL net connectivity between the two databases. And the bigger the database, the better the connectivity between the databases has to be. But the good thing is that you don't need additional disk space to hold a copy of the dump file. But, and we will cover this in details a little later, when you use data pump in network mode, there is limited functionality. Also, let me briefly touch upon the architecture of data pump. The data pump functionality itself is stored inside the database in PL SQL in a package called DBMS data pump. It uses DBMS metadata a lot, but the data pump functionality is stored in that PL SQL package. When you have to do export, you can use the utility XDP as a wrapper or, or cover for the data pump functionality, but all it does is actually to call functionality inside DBMS data pump. And it's the same with the import and when you use the MPDP uh, command line tool. How do you use data pump? First, you must have privileges to use data pump. For that purpose, in the database, there are two predefined roles that grants full access to do exports and imports. You should exercise caution when you grant these roles because they are very powerful. And then a word of advice, you should never use as sysdba to do anything with data pump unless you are explicitly told so by support. Inside the database, sys as sysdba has access to some internal functionality that you don't want to use when you do data pump. In addition to that, data pump must have access to a directory object that points to a directory that exists in the file system and that the database has privileges to write to. Data pump uses the directory object to store DOM files and log files and potentially also SQL files. You should be aware that data pump runs server side. This means that the directory must exist on the database server. So even though you sit at your client and start an, a data pump export or import, the directory must be accessible to the database server, not to your client. 
And finally, you should set the stream spools to a reasonable value. What is reasonable? Mm, typically, it's between 64 and 256 megabytes. If you have enough memory in your system, just bump it up to 256 and you should be all good. Data Pump uses advanced queuing to communicate between the different workers. And since advanced queuing uses the streams pool, you should ensure upfront that it is set to a reasonable value.